Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome to the stream. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hi everyone. Uh, Mark, why are you always asking if people want Sprite Cranberries? <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, Bryce Denson says, I just got a green mutated wolf. Congrats, that is amazing. Uh, Benny up boy, hey, what's up? <laughs> oh my goodness. Nina Art says, hi from bed. Oh, congrats. Being in bed is great. It's the best thing ever. Uh, CB Games, I am from the west coast of the U.S. <laughs> Nacho says, bad quality. Okay, uh, that is probably not something I can fix if that's the case. Oh man, I'm freezing. I didn't even realize. I'm like cozy up to this fire here. I might actually build a second campfire. Barrel Racer 15, I am doing really good. How are you doing? Uh, Rob Bob says, I don't know what this game is. Can you explain, please, what it's about? Yes, I can. Atlas is a brand new survival MMO um, that a lot of the same people who made the original Ark on PC have now made for, um, they've now made this game also for PC. It is early access, so it's still a very new game, but essentially it's pirates. So you go around, you can build ships, uh, you can tame creatures. It's a much more realistic version than Ark, um, and it's got a strong pirate theme to it. Like, there's even some complicated sailing procedures, so it's really cool, and I highly suggest you check it out if you have a PC, because it's really fun so far, although I am, like, freezing to death here. Uh, Pepgen6, I do remember you. Welcome. <laughs> uh, Nacho, I did get your pings in Discord. I apologize, I've not been able to get to those yet. It's been a really busy day. <laughs> uh, Dino says, I thought you were playing Ark. Um, I do play Ark quite a bit. Uh, I decided I wanted to go on Atlas today because this is actually a private server. Uh, I have actually finally gotten together a server, and so... Um, our Atlas is, this is like our Atlas. There's no one else on it, so there's like no server lag, uh, no unexpected server restarts unless they decide to like update the game or something. Uh, so it's actually really cool because like this is completely my own world here and uh, it's nice. Now, problem is, is that it's still really small, so like... This is the only island I have right now. Um, there are a few more islands in this particular uh, region that I have, but it is a Freeport region, so I am going to get a second uh, second server soon to cluster up to it to get a lawless region uh, so that I can do more with that. But um, in the meantime, this is kind of where we're at. It's super fun. I'm still freezing. Like, I have to stand right next to these campfires at night. It's super cold here. Uh, CB Game says, I'm a beginning YouTuber. Tips. Um, good tips for a beginning YouTuber. Consistency. Uh, if you are releasing content very, very consistently, that is going to be the best way to get anywhere on YouTube. So uh, pick a schedule and stick to it. Usually three or more times a week is really recommended for making videos. Um, yeah, it's good. Ash Atlas is not exactly a copy of Ark. There are there are quite a few differences. Um, a lot of what you see, like the base mechanics, are similar, but there are a lot of changes. For example, uh, world instances, the new like gold mechanic, a lot of the NPCs, and all of that is all new. Um, Everything is updated, so everything looks similar, but, like, this is a completely redesigned smithy um, with, like, lots of nice little details. There's a whole combat system, like, it. I can understand why people would think it's like Ark, but it's not Ark, guys. It's really not, and um, it doesn't play like Ark, which I think is maybe more important. <laughs> um, hey, Tixer, I do remember you. And Potato Army Potato, hello. I feel like I haven't seen you in a while. Um. Oh, Bevan, I usually stream ARC on uh, Sundays at 6 p.m. Pacific time. And I might also be streaming on Thursday this week, depending on how things go. This is just a piece of... Oh, it's a rock. I was like, I thought it was a piece of driftwood. 
I love this little like sandbar that I can kind of run across here. It makes it really easy to get around. So basically what I'm trying to do today is uh, get a few more levels and get a few more new skills because um, I did spend quite a bit of time just trying to get this character up to about where the last character had been in terms of stuff. And so I was able to get a smithy and get some metal tools. Um, and now that I am familiar with the game, it's going a little bit faster, but still. It's a little slow. Can be a little slow. Uh, DZ, Daniel Long, I do remember you. Braille Racer 15 says, I hope they'll release it on mobile, and do I remember you? I hope they release it on mobile someday. Uh, I feel like that's going to be several years down the road, but I do remember you. Uh, you have been on a lot of streams lately. Yeah, I love this bridge, too. This bridge is very pretty. All right. So now the trick is I actually have some skills to spend, guys. So I do actually want to ask the chat, like, what do you think we should go for first? Uh, our options are kind of as such. We have four skill points. We could do construction, uh, which would give us access to start building bases, which requires two skill points. We could do archery, uh, which requires three skill points, which could uh, basically we learn how to make bows and arrows. Um, the water keeper we're going to have to learn eventually. Uh, or we could go straight into, like, cooking, uh, and try to, like, cook and farm stuff as well. Hey, Archfiend Graffa, welcome. <laughs> uh, Nina Art says, I saw a full review on Atlas about the creatures, and it's very interesting. I mean, really nice stuff. Some art creatures, some are way better. Most of all, you can hug. Pretty much, right? Like, they have some really great creatures, uh, in here, and they are pretty well redesigned. <laughs> hey, Feral Thunder. Uh, welcome. Yes, I'm glad you're here early. Uh, I'm doing great, and Happy New Year to everyone. It is the new year now. Um, Benny says, build a base. All right. Looks like we may go for base building. Um, or bow mastery, construction. I think most people are going for construction, so we might do that. We do still have two more skill points, so we'll learn the Water Keeper, and then uh, next level we should be able to go into um, archery or cooking, because we'll have enough skill for either one of those. I'm actually going to go ahead and make a couple of water skins while I'm here. All right. Um, I should have learned... Oh, actually, wait. I might need to learn these. Hmm. Should I do basics of building? That'll give us the actual stuff to build rather than all of that. Yeah, let's go ahead with the basics of building, because I do have a smithy I can use. Uh, Trolley Nation, happy birthday, and thank you for the super chat. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm excited for you. Happy birthday. So excited that it is your birthday today. Oh my gosh, we have a lot of birthdays uh, around the end of December here, don't we, for the channel. That's kind of cool. I like it. Um, let's see here. Matthew Licklider, you have been shouted out. Thank you so much for watching today. Let's see. Chibi Pokemon says, remember me from the Griffin and Iguanodon racing stream? Did you miss me? I do remember you from several streams, actually, not just that one. And uh, I always miss people when they aren't able to make it to streams. I'm always sad when I have someone who's normally very active in a stream just kind of disappears. Um, Feral Thunder, do I have anything you could draw? An Atlas creature, maybe. Uh, actually, there are some really cool sharks. Uh, there's, like, a shark that's hanging out over in that area, and I've seen him surface a couple of times, but he's really terrifying, and I'm afraid to swim out there. So if you could draw a really great, like, shark, I would, I would think that would be really cool. <laughs> Um, <laughs> not just telling me to sing to, uh, Trolley Nation. We'll see what Trolley says. If he wants me to sing, I can sing for him. That's, like, the only thing I'm willing to sing, and hopefully I don't get a copyright strike for it. Oh, man, I've got, like, all of the building materials now. Okay, so what all do we need? I need a floor. I need more thatch. Let's take half of that back. 
I'm going to make one of these and see if I can place it on these islands. I'm not sure I'm able to since this is a Freeport region. Um, although it is private, so... Ooh, I need a territory claim. Okay. So can I... Oh, cool. I can actually claim this territory. I'm actually going to do that. I'm going to claim this area. Um, it's going to be mine, and then we can build here wherever we want. Yes. It's my territory. I have no idea how any of this works. Oh, I have to wait for it to claim. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Charlie says if you want you to, you can sing. Um, I, I almost never want to sing Trolley, so if it's okay with you, I will hold off and I will just give you a really enthusiastic happy birthday. Uh, Pepgen6, thank you so, so much for the super chat. It says, please tame a parrot this stream. Uh, we'll do our best for sure. This is going to be a slightly shorter stream today than usual, so we're going to like try to build up a base. Hopefully that'll get us the XP we need to get into Beast Mastery. Um, okay, so I can't place this until I've claimed the territory, so I just have to wait for this flag to go all the way up. Okay, interesting. I feel like I should have put this on the cliff or something. I do have climbing picks, which is really cool, because I can actually climb up walls with these climbing picks. They're like a basic tool. Can I? There we go which I very much adore. I wish I had like a parachute so I could uh, glide down a little bit more safely, but I like being able to climb up cliffs. It's a very neat feature. Uh, and you can get it so early in the game too, it's awesome. So you can kind of see there's like an island way out that way uh, that we can sail to at some point. Um, and there are some rough seas out there. It's all very cool. I love the way that this looks. <laughs> Uh, I should find a penguin. You can cuddle it and hug it tight. It's so cute. Uh, yeah, I would absolutely love to find a penguin. I do have all biomes enabled on this, so um, even though this is just a one region server, it does have all of the biomes available on it the way that I was able to set the server up, so uh, it is very cool. I like that I can see this flag here as well. All right, let's go ahead and climb down so I can do stuff. Beautiful. Just so that we don't die trying to jump off of there. Awesome. All right. Looks like we're we're getting close to three quarters of the way. Um, <laughs> thank you so much, Charlie Nation. Yeah, definitely. Uh, big happy birthday to you, and thank you so much for watching. Um. Oh my goodness. Let's see here. I should become a dark assassin? Uh, maybe. I have no idea. Ooh, I'm gonna kill this turtle, though. Uh, Matthew Licklater says, Do you think you can do a stream on my birthday? Uh, what day specifically is your birthday? Because that is a possibility, depending on the day. <laughs> Um, Rampant Carno, I, I should sing you happy birthday, except that you have killed a lot of the Guanadons, and I'm still very salty about it, so I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> um, Nina R says, I'm loving the graphics, to be honest, looks really cool. I think they look really good. Um, they're, they're definitely updated from... The original arc series so like the water in particular I could stare at it for days like it just looks so good uh, both above and below the water best gamer says is this single player no Atlas does not have a single player this is however a private server um, so there's not a whole lot of people on here because currently I think only one of my patrons knows that I have a server for Atlas um, but I am going to be opening that up to anyone who's a patron of the channel. If you have Atlas, if you want to play Atlas, uh, and you have the PC, um, and you're a patron, you can join this server. I will be opening that up for people um, in the next like day here, now that I have everything kind of sorted out. Because the server was 
struggling the first few days I tried to get it up and running. I'm just gonna, like, burn a lot of stuff. I definitely need a, a more water, and we're almost there on the flag. I like that the flag tells you what direction the wind is going. That's really cool. <laughs> Let's see. What's my favorite dinosaur on Ark? Uh, the Iguanodon, but I also really love rock drakes on Aberration. I think those are beautiful. Chibi says, can you make a stream on March 28th? It's your birthday. Um, we'll see when that gets closer. It kind of depends on what day of the week that is. And uh, how much else I have going on, because I actually don't know what I'll be doing in March yet. Name your first ship the ship from One Piece. Its name is the Thousand Sunny. Um, that might be a possibility, actually. Our current little raft is called the SS Toast. And I do like taking name suggestions. I would really like to make a ship pretty soon as well. At least a small one. Um, but I am going to have to go out and explore and find some gold to get some crew members for that. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, Cybernova says, hi, what's happened? I was doing stuff, and hey there, Feral. Uh, Cyber, not too much. We are claiming some territory so that we can start building a little bit of a base here in the Freeport area. Um, Doodles says, hey, if you remember me, I'm Doodles. Just changed my name a little. Oh, okay. Welcome back, Doodles. Can you tame the turtles in this game? George Jeffries, I think... I killed them all, so I actually don't know for sure. You can tame most of the creatures, if not all of them, if I'm not mistaken. Um, except for, like, the fish, obviously. But I'm not sure about the turtles specifically. Normally, um, they have, like, a little note that says how to tame them. Or what skill level you would need to tame them. And I'm not seeing any turtles I can check on right now, unfortunately. I shouldn't have murdered all three of those. I should have checked if I could tame them. I do hope I can tame, like, a pig very soon, because I would like to tame a pig, just for fun. I hope they're rideable. All right, let's go up this way and see. Oh, there's a turtle. Okay. Can I tame you? I actually have no idea. Because when I walk up to these guys, it says it requires whatever skill to tame. Same with the monkeys. But the turtles don't have that, so maybe you can't tame the turtles, which seems a little silly, because turtles would be like a great little pet to have around. But it doesn't look like you can tame them. This is a cute one. I like that shell. You can tame the cows. Just like that. Um, <laughs> Nina Art says, the axe looks good, I want it. I know, right? The, uh, the tools on Atlas are, like, very beautifully designed. They have all of these crazy carvings on them, so they look amazing. I'm really excited that they did that. <laughs> uh, hey, Bo, how's it going? Welcome. Hey, Tag, welcome. Oh my gosh, hello, everyone. So glad you can make it to the stream today. It is a little bit later than I was planning on streaming, uh, but that's because I got tied up with work, as usual. It's all right. Got to check on this flag. I wonder if we can design a flag, because I've not actually done that. So I feel like I'm going to have territory, and it's just going to be this ugly white flag. Um, you need Trank Arrows to knock out the turtles. Yeah, Dino Gamer. Uh, I actually don't even know if Trank Arrows are a thing. I've not ever checked that. One minute left and some odd seconds. Let's go gather a little bit more wood. And then I'm going to need to repair this uh, particular axe anyway. Um, <laughs> Let's see here. Rob says, I feel sad because today, IRL, I fell into a swamp really close to an alligator and I got scared. Your streams help, but I'm still very shook. I would be shook too. That's terrifying. Uh, alligators are not always the nicest people, or animals, I guess. <laughs> um, <laughs> Epic Creeper, hello, how are you doing? And Blaine Duffy, hello. Oh my gosh, hello so much to everybody. Um, Ivan, thank you so much for the super chat. So appreciated, Ivan. Welcome to the stream, as always. So happy to see you. Um, and, oh my gosh, Atag, thank you as well for the super chat. Uh, Atag says, Happy New Year, they make you work on a holiday. Uh, I kind of chose to work on the holiday, 
Um, I just had a lot of stuff that needed done, and so I was, uh, I was just doing it, even though I didn't technically have to. I was still doing stuff. Yeah. <laughs> but thank you so much for the super chat, Atag. Super appreciated. Hey, cowgirl, welcome. Um, Ultimate Legend, hello, Happy New Year. I am doing great. How are you doing? Wait. I still have meat in there. I need to, like, drop a lot of wood in there so that it'll cook. Yes! Territory! It's mine. I love it. I'm happy. I, I don't know how much territory I've claimed. Ooh, I can set a territory message. What What should our territory message be, guys? Um, Preston Reese, Happy New Year. Dubal says, if you're allowed to say then, what is your job? Uh, I'm a scientist, so uh, I study kind of evolutionary biology and genomics. And um, yeah, it's good. It's really good. It's an interesting job for sure. But it does usually mean that I have to work at odd hours and odd times because <laughs> research. Um, it's Black Doge, thank you. That is very appreciated. Uh, I hope you get Atlas. It's cool. Um, <laughs> Toast, Iguana Land. Let's see here. Toast is all mine. That's a good idea, Cybernova. Toast is all mine. I love it. Ivan, thank you so much for the super chat. Oh my goodness. And Pupper Fluff, thank you so much for subscribing and welcome to the channel. I do hope you're enjoying. I like that. I like that there's a territory message. It all belongs to me. That's great. <laughs> uh, there's the super chat notification. Thank you, Ivan. Very appreciated. Uh, Rob says 76 people. This might be an all time low. Um, I don't think it's an all-time low, but it is pretty low for me. Uh, didn't have a ton of time to notify everybody about this particular stream, so that's part of it. Oh, you can stack foundations. I like this. Alright, we need to make more. We're definitely going to make a lot more of these. I need fiber and thatch. Cool. Um, cause we're gonna make, like, a whole little house here today, I guess, and hopefully that'll also help us level up. Uh, Feral Thunder says, I'm gonna scare the toast out of you when you see that shark. Oh my goodness. Uh, I hope it does scare me. I honestly do. Cause that means that it's gonna be really realistic. <laughs> uh, Pepchen, we just claimed some area, and so we are now setting up a little bit of a base, as you can see, that little brown thing on the ground. We're just collecting some materials so we can craft. I need to get a lot more fiber though, which uh, is a little difficult sometimes. There we go. Um, let's see here. <laughs> Atex says, I might try Atlas. I don't like that you need to watch vitamins with the food. Um, you know, I didn't like it at first either, but actually, once you get used to it, it's not bad at all. Okay. There we go. Making sure I get it all. So you basically just have to have four types of food on you at all times, um, to keep everything balanced, and then beyond that, it's actually not that hard to keep up with, um, to keep up with keeping those vitamins balanced. As you can see on mine... I have a little vitamin thing in the lower right hand corner, might be a little hard to see, but that basically means that I've got all of my vitamins in balance, and so I get like a big boost for that in terms of like stamina and uh, other kinds of um, like stamina drain and food drain and water drain, all of those are like lowered in my favor because of that. So I, I kind of am used to it now, and I actually don't mind it. It's a little difficult at first, but like once you get all of those food materials collected, it's not too bad. Uh, Henry Stoke, what is this? This is called Atlas. It's a new survival game that is very awesome. It's all pirate themed. I super love it. <laughs> um, 
Let's see. Nacho says, do one full minute of silence. Ooh, that would be rough. I feel like a lot of people would leave the chat. Uh, Creative Clay Golem says, when you want to save your new world, what does the amber purchase mean? Does it mean if you purchased tannery in other shops, does it mean you'll lose it? Um, hmm. Yes, I think so. So if you're creating a new single player world, you will lose any amber that you purchased on the current world as well as any purchasable items like the tannery or any crafting station. So that is definitely something to be aware of if you have a second single player game that you're starting is that you will lose all of those items. Um, you can save that, uh, that original save series and then you won't lose those items, but they're only applied to one survivor at a time. So if you create a new survivor, you're going to lose those. All right. So we have a floor. Um, <laughs> we can go through and try to make ourselves some walls and stuff now. Let's see. Cobwolf says, I want to play Ark, but I need my sister's phone to wait for her to sleep. <laughs> awesome. Uh, that's actually really funny that you, like, steal her phone just so you can play Ark. That's kind of adorable. Um, Henry Soak says, oh, okay, good. Yes, I'm an Ark player. Cool. Yeah, uh, it's, it's very similar to Ark in terms of mechanics. It's made by a lot of the same people, but Atlas is more pirate themed so it's it's kind of cool and it's got newer graphics so it has some really cool water effects all things anime says please tame something uh we can definitely do that once we get the levels for the beast mastery skill we can uh make that one of our next things um all right thatch wall let's make a couple of these I haven't really done too much with the building on here, so there's no specific door frame. I wonder... I haven't, like, tried too much with all of this. Oh! Oh, you can cycle through the types of walls. That's cool! So they all have the same crafting requirements, but you can change... Um, you can change what you actually want it to do. I'm going to make that a window. I like that a lot. That's really neat. I feel like this is a better building system than Ark. You can, like, do a lot more with it. And these pieces look really cool. They're actually, like, really well designed um, with how they're, like, woven and stuff. And it has the quick pickup time, which I like. I like that a lot. It's going to be a cool little base. <clears throat> Uh, to Potato Dragon says, a floor! I know! I'm so excited we got a floor. Um, Dino Gamer says, wait, how do you tame a griffin? Uh, on Arc Mobile, you tame them with either aloe kibble or griffin kibble, and you're definitely going to want to use a soothing balm. Other than that, they are your classic knockout tame. You just have to be the right level to tame them. Um, basically, once you're level 95, you can tame any griffin. Uh, Rafiq, hello and welcome. Chibi says, can you read what I say here just so you know that March 28th is a Thursday? All right, then there's a decent chance we'll be able to stream since I do tend to stream Tuesdays and Thursdays when I have time. Um, so barring emergencies, I might be able to do that. <laughs> it's Black Doge. Thank you. That is very appreciated. Uh, yeah, definitely way better than Arc Build, right, Nina? I'm happy about it. Pigeon says, after 20 million years of grinding, you can finally build a base. I know, it is a lot of grinding. I feel like Atlas is even more grindy than Arc, and that pains me, um, a lot. But, but, it is very good, and so I see. And it's, I know that Atlas is meant to be more and more realistic, um, so I, I get why they're doing that. But in terms of playing the game quickly, like, that's just not a thing. So I do actually have slightly boosted rates on here. I'm not sure if they're working because I don't think that they're applying correctly. But um, ideally, I would have, like, everything turned up at least 2x on this particular server because 
Oy, it takes forever to level, it takes forever to craft, and it takes forever to harvest. But there are skills you can get that increase how much you harvest. So, where is it? There's actually a skill somewhere on the basics here. Yes, uh, basic higher hand harvesting yield. So basically, whenever you're harvesting things, uh, you get like 20% more items. So it's actually something you can level up which is kind of cool if you focus on that. So I can appreciate some of those mechanics. Um, yeah, let's just keep making walls. Uh, Henry Sucks says, I c can I see some creatures? Uh, sure. You can wander around. There's a couple of creatures around. We're in kind of a temperate region, so they're not the most exciting creatures. Um, but there are some cows, there are some pigs, there are a lot of monkeys and turtles in this area. I'm afraid to go and look at the shark because it's going to eat my face. Um, yeah, so monkeys, monkeys are kind of everywhere on this game. And then there are wild pigs like this one, the wild boars, which are pretty cool. Oh no! Oh! Oh no. Why do I feel like I'm going to die? <laughs> uh, that's not good. So there's a giant snake, everyone. <laughs> uh, it's a potato dragon, so it's just popping in today's atlas room also. Well, glad you could make it by, potato dragon. Oh my gosh. That scared me. Okay. That really scared me. I didn't realize that there was a giant snake on the island. Um... Is it gone? Is it attacking something else? Yeah, it's attacking the pig. That's great. That's... Oh, no, it's over there. That's not horrifying at all. <laughs> I'm afraid of it, guys. Uh, I'm genuinely afraid of the giant snake. I wonder if I can kill it, but I'm afraid to? No, I missed. Totally. Ah! Don't! No, no! Don't get me stuck! Oh, no. I've been tranquilized. Okay, I'm out of stuff. I might die. Eh. Run. I don't have enough spears. I do not have enough spears for this. Okay. Hopefully he's not actually following me across the bridge. That would be bad. But now it's like a challenge. I definitely want to kill that snake. I want to do it. Okay, let's see. I need the stuff to make spears. I'm probably going to pass out, actually. So let's, um, let's chill over here by the house and pass out if we don't, if we haven't already. Is our torpor going down now? Yeah, it's going down. So we didn't quite pass out, but, uh, if we got in hit again, we probably would have. Um, <laughs> see, Feral Thunder says, I wish it's my comical art style, but I made it look horrifying. Took some inspiration from the new Pirates of the Caribbean. Oh my goodness. That makes me afraid. <laughs> How scary is that thing? Oh, we just need fiber. Okay, so I'm actually going to, like, build this base up a little so we have some protection from the giant snack. Um, because it's scary. These are just going to be solid walls. That's good. I like it. Okay, let's get some fiber, craft a few more spears, and uh, we'll see what we can do about this snake business, because they do heal pretty fast here, unfortunately, which could be an issue. <laughs> um, CB Games, I do not have an Instagram. Uh, I have been told I should get one, but it would largely be pictures of my dogs. Uh, Abby Cooper says, oh, what's her PVE server called? So my PVE server is called Iguana underscore PVE on Arc Mobile. It's a great server. You should definitely check it out. There's lots of nice people on there. <laughs> uh, Matthew, thank you so much. That is appreciated. Uh, Sam, thank you for answering the question. Makroko says, BRB. All right. We'll see you when you get back here. TNT Games says, I'm watching the stream with my snake and he's offended. I'm sorry, but your snake isn't trying to eat my face, and that snake was, to be fair. It was an angry snake. It did not want to see me live. I'm going to make some more spears. 
Um, yep, and we're gonna give this a shot. I'm gonna craft a bunch of spears, and then, oh, the snake is after me. Oh, boy. Oh, it's totally coming this way. Look how much damage it does. It's awful. Okay, so we have five spears. We were doing quite a bit of good damage. Um, I don't think I can hit it this way. I really don't. Let me see. I'm going to have to swipe it. Terrifying giant snake. Swipe, 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 swipe. Kill it, kill it, kill it fast. Yes! Okay. Dead snake. I'm probably going to pass out, but we killed the snake. And now we're getting attacked by a seagull, which is great. I want all of the stuff. Oh, wow. They drop a lot of stuff. Get off me. Seagull. There we go. Ah, <sighs> okay. <laughs> and where'd the seagull go? I can chop that up too if I can find it. There it is. Cool. Now I need to repair all of my items. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Max Capal says, what kind of dogs do you have? One is a Border Collie mix, and one is a um, Lab Pit mix, as best I can tell. He was just kind of a random puppy that I was able to find for sale in the area, and he was so cute, and he licked my face, and so I purchased him, and he's now my puppy. All right, let's go ahead and repair this thing. Um, <laughs> All Things Anime says, I wish when you tamed the snake you could pick it up and wrap it around you. That would be really cool for sure. <laughs> Feral Thunder says, forget the shark. I should draw the snake instead because it scares you more. Um, actually, the s I think the shark actually does scare me more. Uh, the snake is a little scary, but only because it's so massive and it was trying to eat me. Like, IRL, snakes are adorable. Um, I actually probably will need that thatch now that I think about it, but I can drop off all of these scales. Yeah, I don't need all those scales. Okay. And I want the pick back. Cool. Cool. So now that the, the big danger is gone, we can continue building here, I guess. Oh my gosh. That was awful. It was terrifying. Much scared. Um, let's run over here. There's a lot of, like, thatch area over here and fiber. Yeah, so there are some aggressive creatures as well, which are nice and scary. Is that a pig? Yes, that's a pig. Okay, that's what I thought. Those get mad when you attack them. They come after you, and they do quite a bit of damage. Um... <laughs> Let's see here. Isaac Thompson, what did you miss? Uh, well, we just actually killed a big snake that was trying to eat our face. Uh, so that went well. And we're actually about to level up here, so not too much. We're just kind of building a little bit of a base. Uh, trying to get some levels. Um, looking at a few of the creatures in the area. Hanging out. It's all good. Um... Matthew says, I wish I could play ARC with you maybe in the future. That would be awesome. Uh, so re a lot, sir. <laughs> Just has like a crying happy face. Uh, I hope that means I was entertaining to you. Um, Pepgen has a border collie. His name is Flynn and he's a very good boy. I bet he's a very good boy. Flynn is a great name for a border collie, to be honest. Border collies are amazing. I must have already killed that tree somehow. Uh, yeah, Feral Thunder, you absolutely should, uh, draw Titanoboa for me. Those are amazing. <laughs> um, let's see here. What's the most dangerous animal? Tragic Deck, the most dangerous animal in here is probably, like, a tiger or a wolf, as far as I know. The big snakes are pretty bad, because they do the torpor, but at low levels, they're not too hard to deal with. 
Uh, Ghost, thank you so much for the super chat. It says, how are you doing, Iguana? I want to know how to make this message long because it allows me to use 150 letters and I want to use them. Also sing the happy birthday song. That's right. It was Ghost's birthday uh, yesterday, I believe. And so I probably should sing happy birthday to you. I can do that. For anyone who really hates singing, uh, turn off the sound now. All right, here we go. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear ghost. Happy birthday to you. Ah, there you go. Thank you again for the super chat, ghost. Very appreciated. Uh, CB Games says, what's the name of your free server on Arc Mobile? If you type in Iguana on the unofficial server's, uh, like, filter list, you should find it. I have three fan servers on there, one of which is the Iguana Retrain PVX server, and the other two are mine, and they are PvP and PvE. And they are all pretty amazing. I also like how tall this is. I feel like I might actually be able to live in a one-room hut here. I don't think I will, but I could, you know? And let's go back to a regular wall. Okay, we're getting it. We're getting a whole little house here. I'm probably going to need some more foundations because I think I want it a little bit bigger than that. But I'm really glad that I have some territory and I can build a little hut in this bay. It's super cute. And I'm close to a free port, which is nice. <laughs> Uh, what about the new map in Arc Mobile? Uh, Henry, they haven't released any information on what that map is maybe going to be, or even whether there is a new map. Like, the whole team kind of clams up and uh, basically tries to throw us off the scent whenever someone asks about if there is going to be a new map this year. So, um, yeah, just keep an eye out for it. I think it's going to come. I don't think it's going to come right away. But I do think it's going to be good if if they do add a new map. I think it's probably going to be a mobile exclusive map. I have no idea what. Um, I would hope it's a really cool new inventive map with some new creatures specific to mobile. But we'll see how the team uh, decides to handle that. I'm really excited to see what Wardrum has next. Uh... Julie, thank you so, so much for the super chat. She says that was awesome. Oh, thank you, Julie. I, uh, I do my best. Um, I'm not great at singing, but thank you. Uh, let's see here. How do you play Ark Survival in PC? Dino Gamer, I use Steam, uh, to... I use Steam to play all of my PC games anymore. So, uh, if you download the Steam app, that is a free service, and they sell all of these games through their store, um, and so you can purchase Ark through them if you are interested in playing it on PC. You do have to pay to download Arc, but then there are no, like, purchasable items once you have it downloaded, unlike in the mobile version. <laughs> I'm glad you enjoyed it, Ghost. Oh my goodness. Uh, not just as, when, when will you tame a mental, as in, I mean, when are you going to marry him? Uh, probably when he gets up the guts to ask. And or when I meet him in person, because that's also a thing, you know? Um, I have no idea. <laughs> Let's see here. Just wait, Atlas comes out on mobile. Hyper Games, that would be awesome. But if it does, it's going to be several years in the making. I don't think it's coming out anytime soon. Yeah, this needs to be a little bit bigger. I think I'm going to build it out this way if I can. I want to build this way. Let's see if we can... Uh, I'll put the foundation out. I just want it a little bit longer. And I'm also... I'm also leveled up. So... Um... Fortitude... Probably fortitude. Fortitude is good. Alright, and I have two points available. So, um, we can go... Oh, that only gave me one skill point? That's annoying. All right, anyway, well, we could level up um, tool studies. Uh, handyman, which would give us like a storage box, which I don't think we really need. Or we could go into weaving, which would give us a loom. 
Um, and once we do that, I bet we could go into learning how to craft like more armor or things like that. Or we can go straight into cooking. Uh, we can't unlock Beast Mastery now because we have to unlock hand-to-hand -hand combat first, which we could do that as well. Um, Golden Ash, thank you so much for the super chat. He says, hi, just so you know, Miria was going to do an event. Oh, awesome. Um, I do want to check that out when he does because that arena is really cool. Uh, Parker Ross, hello, and Jonah Wolf, hey, how's it going? <laughs> Isaac Thompson says, Raptor TLC is the worst, but the Toast TLC is the best. Correct. And Gold Nash, thank you again for the super chat. It says, PS on the server, but I don't know when. Okay, I do want to find out whenever that does happen. Uh, and thank you so much, Ash, for the super chats. Very appreciated. Um... <laughs> Daisy says, hey, Gwenna, I love your arc vids. By the way, my first time watching your stream. I want to join your tribe really bad. What's your name and code on Discord if you have it? Oh, Daisy, thank you so much. Um, I do have a link to my Discord server in the video description down below. So if you click on that link, you can join my Discord server, and uh, I'm often on there hanging out. Uh, my tribes are usually closed because there's just too many people to try to tribe up with for me to like reasonably try to tribe with everybody, but I do like to ally with people as much as possible. And um, I do try to talk to everyone uh, who really wants to talk to me as much as I can. Uh, Max says, how long is the stream going to be? Cause it's getting late here in the Netherlands. Um, probably not too long, actually. It's gonna be a short stream. So this is probably gonna go on for about another hour-ish, I would say. Uh, I can't I can't stream for very, very long today unfortunately there's like a lot of creatures out that way man that looks so cool in the distance so that is like the edge of the server you can see the water just kind of flying up there uh it looks really cool okay let's go and see if we can actually build this out a little uh let's see anna beretta welcome back Totally fine if you've been missing the streams. I'm just happy to see you back. All right, so we can't actually build more this way, but we could build more this way. I might have to demolish everything and make this a little bit bigger. Yeah, I might do that. Um, I am actually gonna build this because I do kinda, this would be a cool little like entryway area. And then I'm gonna build it back um, a little bit as well so we have a little bit more room. So, I wonder if I get materials back for destroying these things. Do I? Yes, I do. Cool. I can live with that. I'm, I'm okay with that. <laughs> uh, Ken Iguana Squad, hello, welcome. Um, Daisy says, okay, thanks, Iguana. How do I become a Patreon for your server? Oh, thank you, Daisy. You can become a Patreon for the server... Again, there's a Patreon link in the video description. Um, all you have to do is sign up for Patreon, and uh, basically, if you want to join the Arc Mobile server that I have, or this Atlas server that I will be making available to my patrons very soon here, um, you sign up at the five dollar tier, and it's like an every day, every month, not every day. It's like an every month donation that you make, essentially, um, that lets you have access to these servers um and if you don't have like a credit or debit card to use for patron i do have other ways that you can join and be a patron as well so you can always dm me on discord if you want to become a patron but you don't have like an easy way to do that at the moment gold nash says oh she's almost at 21k subscribe we are almost there yes we are so so close to it um i'm really excited about it i I hope we hit it soon. <laughs> uh, George Jeffries says, just joined your Discord. My name is Bear God. Awesome, George. I'm really glad that you joined, and I hope to see you on there chatting with everyone. Um, there we go. Get more thatch going here, and then I think, do I need... I need wood. Oh! Wow, I should have been hitting with a hatchet then. 
All right, I'm trying to like face the light sky so you guys can kind of see in the game. It is very dark right now. I haven't made a torch. I probably should do that for you. Um, actually, I wonder. Okay, no, I don't know how to use the admin commands on here just yet. <laughs> I will figure it out eventually. Uh, it's always rough with a new game trying to figure out all the controls. Uh, Little Crip says, how do I DM you? Um, I, I ask that you only DM me if you are interested in being a patron and we need to chat about it because otherwise I get a lot of DMs and it does take me a while to get back to those people if they get flooded. So if you're going to DM me, you basically find my name in the list, um, do a right click on it, and then you should be able to just... Uh, click message once you've right clicked on my name in the discord all right let's go ahead and make a bunch of walls um daisy says would you take paypal for it yes uh i do think actually that patron um the patron site does take paypal and that is the preferred way to do it because managing it through patron is much much easier if you can All right, cool. We're getting there. We're getting a little bit of a house built. It's a slow process, but we are getting there. I need more thatch. I feel like I need so, so much thatch for this. Um, Amitaki Gaming says, where's the chicken? Uh, this is actually a new server, so the chicken did not come over here with me. I switched from an official server to a private server because uh, it was just too laggy and there were too many people and it was causing too many issues trying to play on that server with all the shutdowns and everything. So we're now on a private server, which is making things a lot easier. So we don't have a chicken yet, uh, but we will soon. I'm also kind of learning how all of the specs are working on the skill tree. So once, now that I've got that kind of figured out, we're able to make a little bit more, um, a little bit quicker game progress, I think. So, yeah, that's how that's all going. Uh, the Elites says, hello, I'm kind of new here. Welcome, the Elites. I'm really glad to see you on the stream today. I hope you're enjoying here. Uh, Sam says, I know that your name starts with a W. Interesting. Um... NWO Jiangi says, how do you download Atlas? Uh, if you have a PC that can play it, you can go to the Steam um, application online or download it onto your computer. It is a free service. Um, and then through Steam, you can just search in their store section for Atlas and then purchase Atlas through Steam. That is the way that most people are doing it, as far as I know. Oop, I need this. Um, oh, bye, Rohi. Thanks for popping in. Sorry you couldn't stay longer. Uh, let's see here. Chibi says, name. Uh, my name is Ijiwana. Please respect the privacy, guys. I really don't want to do a name reveal anytime soon. Uh, when do I think Wardroom will change the look of Direwolves and Mobile? I think they already have. So... If you look at the wolf model, um, like the previous wolf model that used to be available in the game, and then you look at the one on mobile and the one on PC, I actually think that the visual pass for the wolves was already implemented. Um, it may not look as good as it does on PC, but that's because this is not like a PC, it's not a PC game, it's a mobile game, right? So it's not going to look quite as good. Uh, Vegeta, this is Atlas. It is a very cool pirate survival game, I guess is what you would call it. Uh, it's unfortunately not available on Xbox or PlayStation at the moment, but um, the people who develop it have been known to port their games to consoles in the past, and so there is a chance that that will happen once this leaves early access, but it, it just came into early access like a week ago, so there is still... Um, a ways to go before I think it will make it to console. But it is very cool. I love it. 
Um. <laughs> Daisy says, okay, I might need to ask my mom to pay to become one. Okay, no worries, Daisy. And like I said, if a uh, patron doesn't work out, we can, we can work something out in another way. Oh, it's an alien. Welcome, alien, to the stream. Uh, Pefjin says, what dino TLC are you most excited for? Probably the Spino TLC, honestly. I feel like the Spino... Man, the old Spino, like, they're really cool, and I know a lot of people love them, but after the TLC pass, they've just become so amazing, and so I really hope that the Spino TLC comes, because I want to see that. Hi, turtle. All right, let's hit this. I need thatch. I need all of the thatch. These little bamboo sticks are like horrible. Um, let's see here. <laughs> Arctic Shadow says, can you give me a drawing prompt, please? Um, well, yeah, I'm kind of on a shark train lately, although we did just see a giant snake earlier in the stream. So if you could draw like a giant cobra, that would be really cool. Or uh, possibly a shark coming to eat my face because there is a shark near this island and I'm afraid to go in the water and see it. Uh, Feral Thunder, you just got a shooting pain running down your arm from your shoulder. Felt like you got scratched by a cat, but you don't have a cat. Ooh, that's not good, Feral. I hope that's just growing pains and not like something serious. All right, let's go ahead and fill these up. Uh, I need to make a discovery to raise my maximum a XP. Okay. Alright, so we're at max XP right now. So what we may actually have to do is go and discover a new island. Because I'm pretty sure you get XP with every island you discover. So maybe we could go do that because I do want to be able to get more XP. Oop, there we go. <clears throat> um... Rob TV, welcome to the stream. <laughs> uh, Makoko says, I'm guessing your PUBG name is IG Wanna. Me and Ian think it is. Yes, that should be my name on PUBG. I believe that is the correct one. All right, how is the wind blowing? It's that way. Um, I don't know. Where's the nearest island? So that's the edge of the map, so we might be able to find an island over that way. I feel like we should sail over there, but I'm also a little afraid to, guys. Uh, sailing is scary stuff, for sure. Alright, let's make a few more walls at least. We'll at least get some of this uh, fixed up a little bit before we try to take off. And I would need to go and collect a lot of new items here. I'm actually going to eat all of these. I need more veggies. I'm going to lose my balanced meal if I don't collect more food. Perfect. But we got, like, most of a hut built here. Alright, and I can collect all of these for veggies as well. Uh, the Elite says, I wonder if they're going to add Wyvern to Arc Mobile. I don't know. I don't think they have any current plans to do that, but I feel like if they were going to add a new map and there was a good place to put it, they might try to include that. I mean, they did bring the Griffin, so it's not impossible that they would bring the Wyvern. Um, I just don't think it's likely unless we get a new map on mobile. Because where would they put the spawn? <laughs> um... Daisy, thank you. I would love some toast. You're the best. Uh, let's see here. The Elite says, I wonder... Oh, no. Sorry. I skipped that. Uh, King Crusha KK says, why do you mostly play Ark on mobile? Um, I mostly play Ark on mobile because that is what the people on the channel are mostly here to see. Um, that... I basically was making content specifically for Ark mobile because it was... Um, just coming out, I had gotten into the beta and they allowed us to start making content on it. And so I did, and everyone flocked to my channel for the Arc mobile content. So I'm just getting into PC gaming on the channel, uh, because I have spent so much time on Arc mobile and I'm still keeping up with that because, uh, Arc mobile is like its own game now. So it's got some exciting 
game specific news that I'm trying to make sure people know about if they are here for that. Uh, Amitaki says, are you playing PUBG? I do have a mobile PUBG um, game account, whatever. Pretty. Dawn is gorgeous here. Um, but I haven't really played much and I haven't played recently. I am considering adding that to the channel in the future here, depending on uh, interest in it, of course. This is kind of a cool area. All right, I'm going to like go around the island while I'm collecting food and see if I can figure out, um, see if I can figure out where we should sail to to get more uh, discoveries, because I need discoveries in order to get my max XP. Um, I am seeing bottles with notes in them. And I do see the edge of the world, but I don't see any islands. And I know there are like five or six islands in this little area, so should be able to see one, depending on where I've landed. This is crazy. I'm like stuck on the bamboo. Minnie and me says, please do a griffin taming vid. I already have a griffin taming vid out. I have several of them actually. I have two or three, I think, griffin taming videos. Uh, if you are interested, you can definitely go and look those up. And they should pop in the, up in the search options if you type in like iguana gaming griffin. Uh, there should be a couple of videos on those. <laughs> um. Hey, Shadow Fury OG, how's it going? Welcome to the stream. All right, I'm not seeing any islands, guys. We might just have to sail for it and see see where we end up, I guess. That's, like, really scary to me, but uh, we could give it a try. I wonder... I did make a shovel, so I wonder if I can get this and get some gold. It would be ideal if I could get a treasure map and get some gold. You get like these message in a bottle things. Collect treasure map. Did I actually get the treasure map? No. Whoa. Okay, dead manta. Um. This is mine now. I needed more fish meat anyway. <laughs> Alien says this game is gorgeous. Yeah, it is definitely very beautiful. Ateg says let's go sailing. All right, let's go sailing, guys. Um, we'll come back to the hut, obviously. I just kind of need to discover a new island in order to get, uh, start gaining XP again. So you have to, like, you have to explore in order to gain, um, experience in this game. So it's, uh, something to be aware of. I'm afraid to fall in the water now because I have seen sharks and the manta are vicious as well. So let's, like, not fall and die. That would be good. All right, I think we made it all the way around this little chunk of land. Yes, we did. Perfect. I love it so much. It's beautiful. Okay, we're going to head back over this way. Uh, Rob TV says, can you do a vid with MSB Gaming? Um, I actually probably could. They are a part of the same like uh, community circle that I'm a part of as well. So that's definitely a possibility uh, if we could ever match up our schedules well enough to do so. I'm going to make another water skin just in case. Um, Renee McDonald, I do remember you. Welcome back. Minnie and me says, why haven't they released Ova so we can get Mutton on Arc Mobile though? Um, I'm not sure why they haven't done that. It's, it, uh, it, it's hard to tell. So like, the actual ARC PC game has so many creatures on it that it's actually impossible for the devs to bring all of those creatures to the mobile game. Like, it just, um, it wouldn't work. Like, the game would crash, right? So, they do have to kind of limit how many creatures they bring. And I think the Avis is just one of those that is really OP. Um, and so they just haven't done it yet. But if people keep requesting it, they probably will. All right, so I've got some food, I've got some fish. I'm gonna go fill up my water bottles um, and then we can go sailing and see how it goes, guys. Yeah, I hope it goes well. I also probably need more veggies. 
Oh no, I have quite a few now. I might be okay. I might be okay. Berries are easy to get. Veggies are a little tougher. Let's run up here to get some fresh water. Next to this creepy fountain thing. Alright. And it's raining. Perfect. Love it when it rains. It's always good. Uh, what level am I in PUBG Mobile? Not very high. I think I might be like level 5, maybe. <laughs> I, I'm not very high. I haven't played much. I've played like 4 matches ever. Um, and only won one of those. And it was because I got carried. So... It's, uh, it's definitely a thing. Um, best way to turn around uh, is probably that way. It's dangerous. All right. All right. So we'll catch the wind if we rotate the sails this way. And then if we move slow, maybe we won't kill the raft. All right, so we're going to sail out that way and kind of see what we can see. Because I know that there's an island way over there somewhere. Mr. Enter the Hole said this game is so much more fun off of the official servers. I agree. It really, really is. Um, I'm actually having a lot of fun with it on this public server as compared to on the, the other servers. Just because, like, it's not crowded and not laggy. Uh, Cedar Star, welcome. And Lightning King, welcome. I am rejoicing. And Mr. Rannon says, Happy Master Ruguana Day. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Randon. Uh, it is a happy day. Is it like an iguana routine arrow day? I have no idea. <laughs> um, let's see here. Minnie Me says, Iguana, do you like bananas? Uh, yes, I do. Bananas are delicious. Can we rotate the sails a little more, please? Yeah, just a little extra. Try to get that spin. This is so hard. I don't know what it is about this, like, particular sailing method, but it's really difficult, and I am afraid that I'm going to, like, smash my boat to pieces because there's so many rocks. Ugh, it's awful takes forever to figure out how to turn this thing around. All right, we're still good. We're still good. We're turning. Okay. We're, we're still doing okay. Let's go ahead and open the sails a little more. And yes. All right. We're, we're heading out and I'm terrified. Oh boy. Okay, um, let's see, I think the islands are all to the south, so let's go ahead, rotate the sails with the wind anyway, and, uh, let's, let's sail down and see what we can get. I need to make a discovery. Oh yeah, I definitely see land out that way, so we're gonna go up that way, and we're gonna fully open all of the sails. And we're, we're going to just go for it. And hopefully we don't die out here. Um, <laughs> Hypergame says, can you please teach me how to make your famous toast? Um, best way to make... Oh, that's terrifying. No, no. Bad idea. Oh, heck. Oh, heck. I didn't know there were water tornadoes. What? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh no, abort, abort, abort. Bad idea, I should have stayed in the port. Never go out during a storm. Oh my lord. Okay, we're gonna die. We're gonna die so hard. Can we get back to the island at least? Oh no. Don't hit me. Okay, we'll go sailing when it's calm seas. Oh boy. This is not good. This is bad. This is really bad. Uh, we're taking a lot of damage here. Okay. Um, right. Okay, let's, uh, let's go over here and then fully close all sails because we're going to hit the rocks. 
Oh my gosh. I didn't know. I had no idea. All right. Uh, probably gonna wait for it to stop raining before I try to sail again. That was awful. What even? Okay, how much damage do we take? None. Cool. <laughs> uh water spouts sure just a little spout right it's fine <laughs> spouts is not a strong enough name for what those were those were definitely tornadoes oh my gosh that was awful okay yeah this this game legitimately scares me with the water the way that it is um Mr. Rannon says, it's the end of school and it's a rainy day. I have an umbrella engine for two peeps. I see my friend, which is a girl, and she has no cover to the rain, so I let her in my umbrella. I am nice. <laughs> Mr. Rannon, that's great. That's a good story. It was heartwarming. Uh, let's see. The elite says, please survive. I think. I think I survived. Yeah, we waited for calm seas, and now I think we're okay. So I think as long as we're, like, close to the island here, we're not going to die. But, yeah, definitely terrifying. Oh, my goodness. Uh, did not expect the giant water tornadoes of death uh, the second that I set foot outside into the ocean. Definitely need to wait for calm seas. I feel like there should be a tornado warning. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Uh, now imagine if there's a crack in mod there. Uh, Pro Noob, I actually, there are actually a lot of, um, like, monsters that spawn in. So, yeah, see, I need to go over there because there's the land that I see. Um, so essentially what you can see out here on this crazy, crazy map is there are, like, ghost ships and there are hydras and there are... There are all sorts of horrible things out on the open seas that spawn in, like boss level monsters, and you either have to avoid them or fight them. <laughs> it's terrifying. Um, Hyper Games, yes, I can teach you how to make amazing toast. Uh, so now that we're good, I'm going to like rotate the sails this way. Um, so to make amazing toast, you get yourself a good toaster. Like, just a nice little toaster. And then what you want to do with that toaster is put some bread in it. And then you toast it until it's, like, just the right amount of toasted for you. I prefer, like, a light golden brown. That is a very good amount of toast. Um, and then you pull out your Nutella. And you slather Nutella all over the freshly warmed toast. And it is the best thing ever. It is super delicious, and I highly recommend it. <coughs> okay. Yep, let's, uh, let's keep these sails rotated. Oh, man, now the wind's against me. Why? Game? Why? You know what? Hold on. I need this fish. This fish is mine now. This fish is mine. I'm gonna eat it. It's my tuna. It decided to kill itself just so that it could feed me. It's a good tuna. It knows. <laughs> okay, so now the wind is completely against me, so what I may do is try to open literally all of the sails, because I need to go to that land because it's closest, um, but I'm not sure I'll be able to make it out there now. Yep. Yeah, so if we sailed... Oh, that's scary. There's a big old shark. Um, or if we go this way. Maybe we can catch some wind. Alright. Yeah, we're like just sitting here because we have the wind against us. That is the worst part, is like trying to figure out how to work with the wind to get where you want to go as quickly as possible. And it's really difficult. I wish I had like an oar that I could use to just raft my way over there because I need to get over there. I need the land. <laughs> and it's just not cooperating at all. Um, <laughs> Daisy says, I can't have Nutella. Are you allergic to the nuts? That is terrible. 
Uh, Pronoop says, one question, please. Do you play Overwatch? If you don't recommend you play it, it's really good. Um, I've never played Overwatch before, but I've had so many people tell me that I should play it at this point that I am considering getting it. Um, and I may or may not play it on the channel, but I'm definitely considering getting the game. Okay. At least we're moving. I'm really nervous. I don't like leaving the island. <laughs> Please don't let there be something that wants to eat me. The ocean is a scary place. Um, if I have to, I will turn around and flee back to this island. At least the wind is kind of pointing in that direction, so we might be okay. Uh, Sam says, would you ever play with me on PUBG Mobile? Um, yeah, I actually would consider playing with people on PUBG Mobile since um, I don't play it very often, and I could play multiple rounds with different people. I would consider playing with fans on that particular game. Barrel Racer 15, welcome back. Low Grips is very good tutorial on making toast. I rate 5 out of 5 stars. I know, right? It's important to make sure that you are making the toast, um, you're putting the Nutella on the toast while it's warm because then it melts into it a little and it's like perfect. That is the best toast ever. Alright, so this is going to take us a while to get over there, but we are headed towards um, that island. And once I've discovered it, we should be okay to, like, come back to our safe little island here and continue building a hut, hopefully, if we can manage it. I have no idea what we're going to find over there. I have no idea if that's even, like, a good biome to be in. I feel like we're in one corner. Oh, we totally are. We're in one corner of my server here. Uh, hey, Omega, welcome. <laughs> yeah, round two. Hopefully no more water spouts. Uh, do I like genies? Um... Like genies as in the magical creature, I think they're pretty cool. <laughs> Cedar Star says everything wants to eat you, including the ocean. Like the ocean itself tried to eat me. I am so nervous sailing away. Ugh, it's the worst. It's not good. <laughs> Hopefully the wind turns for me because I really would like to sail a little bit faster than this because I'm afraid we're going to see a ghost ship spawn in and it's going to try to eat my face or the ghosts are going to come over here and try to like wreck everything that I've built. That could be bad. Like I don't even have a good ship yet. I'm just on a raft but I need all of the stuff. Okay we're, we're kind of heading towards that corner of the island so we might eventually make it over there. What if they add tornadoes to Ark Mobile? That would be awful. Oh, Minnie Me says, do you like Vine? Oh, yeah, Vines are good. They're old and dead, but they're good. I've seen some good ones in my day. Uh, the Elite says, are you a cat person or a dog person? I have three cats, and so I'm a cat person. Um, I call myself an animal person, so I have two dogs and a horse right now, and the only reason I don't have a cat is because... I actually am slightly allergic, so I can't have them sleep in the house with me, or I, like, get choked up at night. Um, but there are cats, um, like, I love barn cats whenever I go to, like, a horse barn, and there's barn cats that are there. They're really cool, and I did grow up with cats, so I do love them, but uh, I can only have them if they're, like, outside or in a, in a different area than I am sleeping in. Uh, Sam Reed says, my rabbit and I love your vids. Oh, thank you, Sam. <laughs> and yeah, that's adorable that your rabbit, like, either listens or watches. And for some reason, the idea of a rabbit just watching, um, my particular, my channel sounds, like, amazing to me. I can turn the sails a little bit, but that also is going to push me in the wrong direction. See? So I will move faster, but I'm moving towards the world border, and I unfortunately cannot go beyond that. Uh, I need the wind to shift and take me over there. Okay, the raft has level up. That's good. Uh, let's make it a little more hardy in case we run into any more tornado spots. What is that in the water? What are those in the water? I trust nothing. What is that? I don't like it. I'm afraid. I don't know what that is, but it scares me. There's something glowy in the water and it's going to eat my face. Uh, let's miss it. Let's go past it. It's probably some horrible monster. 
this is the worst. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm IRL legit scared of the water, particularly large bodies of water, like the ocean. And so to have something in the game that, like, looks relatively realistic and then put nasty monsters near it scares me. Um... <laughs> Uh, Renee says, when I'm sad, I watch you because you're funny and you make me happy. P.S. You have great vids. Oh, thank you, Renee. That is very appreciated. Like, super appreciated. I don't think you guys realize how much those kinds of comments mean to me, really. Uh, I am always happy when I can, uh, make somebody's day a little bit brighter. <laughs> I'm, like, so nervous. There's shipwreck stuff out there and I kind of want it, but I'm afraid. <laughs> I just want to get to land again. Oh, man. I can't wait until I have, like, an actual ship that can handle all of this with some crew members to, like... That's a shark. That's a shark out there. I didn't like that fin. Okay. <laughs> I'm just gonna, like, cower on my raft and try not to die. I wish the wind would turn so that we could go faster. Uh, Feral Thunder says you're aquaphobic. Not exactly. Um, like, I don't mind water so much, and I'm actually a very strong swimmer. I just don't like deep bodies of water where I can't see what's underneath me. Like, for some reason, that terrifies me. Their glowy things are back. I don't like that. I don't know what those glowy things are, but they're freaking me out. <laughs> You can stay over there, buddy. I don't want to run into you. All right. I'm headed for this giant rock formation, and hopefully we get there soon. Not just this iguana. Don't look to your left at the giant wall, like, end of the world. Or, oh, is it because it gets framey? Yeah. Uh, Isaac says, I sent you a friend request on PUBG. My name is Thump Legend. Please be my friend. Uh, I can definitely try to do some, accept some friend requests on PUBG Mobile, um, depending on, I'll try to like hop on and accept any friend requests I get on there. I feel like it's a relatively small set of people, so I might be able to manage that. Uh, Little Grip says, what do you call a fear of heights? Because I'm afraid of heights. Um... I don't know what you call a fear of heights, actually. I actually love heights. Like, that's the one thing I'm really... I'm not afraid of much. It's mostly just, like, deep water. Um, but as far as, like, heights go, I love them. So I actually don't even know what the fear of it's called, because I don't get that at all. I like being in high places. Um, yeah, let's repair the ship. That would be good. Let's not have the ship die. Options, properties... All right, sturdiness. Yeah, we're going to make it more sturdy. <laughs> Let's not die. Okay, we're, we're going to get this. We're so close now. It's getting foggy. I don't like that. Oh, man. Okay, at least I can kind of see where the, uh, the fog's rolling in. I can't see the island anymore. I can still see this one. We're closer to this one than that one now. So we are making progress. It's just incredibly slow. I feel like I definitely need a crew to make this go faster and to make this a little bit easier. Not just says because of the red. Uh, the red is a little frightening. <laughs> this is worse by far. I don't like this fog business. Game. Okay, whoever decided to design this game is... They're just mean. What was that? Oh, okay. I'm okay. I'm just gonna sit right in the center of my raft and, like, act like a baby and hope that nothing jumps out of the water and snipes me off my raft. Oh, my God. I don't like this. <laughs> I don't like this at all. Um... <laughs> Feral Thunder says, I'm arachnophobic. Uh, I hate spiders, just small ones, though. I, yeah, spiders can be scary if they're, like, jumping at you, but for the most part, I think they're kind of cute. Um, but there are definitely people who have, like, serious fears of them. I, I don't like this at all. I'm so scared of the water. Okay. I just need to get to the other island for the discovery. 
What's my map say? Oh, look. We're actually very close to a massive chunk of land. Okay. Okay. That's okay. We can do that. I actually can't get this map to zoom out anymore. It must be bugged out. Um... <laughs> It was a dolphin? I hope so, Max. I'm gonna say it's a dolphin. <laughs> uh, Flip says Iguana's going to have a heart attack, I bet. It's not unlikely when I'm out in the middle of the ocean. I wouldn't... <laughs> I wouldn't say. Um, <laughs> let's see. Omega, thank you so much for the super chat. It says, can this be you for February? Yes, Omega, that can absolutely get you through February. I will uh, make a note of that now, actually, while we're sailing along. There we go. So you're all set. Uh, Renee, what's my favorite movie? My favorite movie of all time is called The Court Jester. It's a very old movie, um, and it is a musical, and it's very silly, but I love it so, so much. Uh, so if you haven't seen it, you should check it out. It's a, it's a little-known movie, but it is very good. Um... Bell Racer 15 says, OMG, yes, Nacho the Jurassic Park. Ooh. Yeah, pretty much. Jurassic Park is less terrifying than this by far. I did not like that white thing in the water. They said it was a dolphin, but I don't trust it. I don't like this fog either. The water spouts and the glowing lights in the ocean. Ugh. What is that? Oh, it's a turtle! Okay. I'm okay with the turtle things. Those are safe. They can hang out with me. <laughs> Arlen says, what did I miss? Uh, we are sailing along trying not to die. And I'm freaking out. So, not too much. Um, yeah, we need to make a new discovery so we can continue gaining experience. And we're getting close to an island, which you can kind of see over there in the distance. And hopefully we'll be able to get there soon. Um, the wind is a little bit against us, so it is a bit of a slow trip, but, uh, we're, we're kind of making progress. So unless the wind totally, uh, goes flat, we should be okay here. Uh, Feral Thunder says, there's a shadow of a cat sitting on my windowsill. Please help. I'm a floor up from the ground. It probably is a cat. Cats get into all sorts of unlikely places. Like, trying to figure out, yeah. Okay, so that's the island we came from. All right, we're close. This looks like a desert island. That's very cool. Okay, so we're still kind of on track. Um, I'm going to have to turn against the wind a little more to get there. But we are sort of making progress. So we should be able to land um, somewhat close to this side of the island, hopefully. If we can uh, get a little closer here. Uh, Feral Thunder says, I know Moby is an atlas, right? <laughs> That's terrifying. Yes, probably. Uh, Sam reads, yes, I will, I will accept yours as well. Atex says it was a Mosa. I wouldn't be shocked if that was a Mosa, honestly. I'm, like, trying not to look at the water now, because it's just that bad. It's legitimately that bad. I want to land on this side of the island, so I feel like I need to... I need to rotate my sails in a little. That is going to slow me down some. But hopefully we can get over there. There's a waterfall over there? There's something over there, and I feel like we need to get closer to it. Uh, I hit the wrong button. There we go. There we go. Um, Pepigen says, remember to tame a parrot. Yes, uh, I do have some skill points still, so we should be okay. Burning Chicken says, I'm a fan. Thank you so, so much, Burning Chicken. Very appreciated. Um, bye, the elites. Thank you so much for coming out today. Yeah, hopefully you can make it early for the next stream. I think we're probably actually going to end it off once we get safely to this island because uh, that did take a long time to sail across that stretch of water, unfortunately. And we are still very slow here. Ugh. I want the wind to turn. Why can the wind just not turn for me. It would be great. <laughs> it would be super useful if the wind could work with me here. 
I mean, we're clipping along. Yeah, there's definitely a waterfall over there. That would have been ideal to get into. Um, but it does look like this is going to be the side of the island I want to get onto with all of these trees. Amber Quinn, thank you so much for saying that. That is appreciated. Uh, I should tame a lion, a monkey, or a tiger. Uh, agreed, burning chicken. I absolutely should. I don't think we're ready for any of those. Um, but I would love to, for sure. Uh, Arlen says, I hate water games. I'm freaked out. You should have heard me earlier. <laughs> I, I have not had an easy time of the water here today. Um, and yeah, I actually very easily get freaked out by water games as well. The only one I've not had too much trouble with is Subnautica, and that's because I go straight to the bottom of wherever I am, and I sit there. Um, because as long as I can see what's under me, I have a lot less trouble, uh, with, with the area. The problem is I don't like stuff underneath me, so it's really scary that there's this huge ocean, and there could be a massive thing under you and you would never see it. That's what scares me. Uh, Jason says, I'm super duper late. A little. It's not too bad. Uh, FHM Crew says, you are my favorite YouTuber. Thank you so much. That is appreciated. Uh, Happy New Year, Foxclaw. Cedar Star says, scary thing spotted? What? Where? Where? I don't, I don't like scary things. That's just the edge of the server, so that's not scary. This is what's scary, is that there could be something horrible in the water waiting to eat my face. Man, the wind is so against me right now. It does not want me to get to this island. Um, but I'm so close. It's like right there. If I turn anymore, our progress is going to stop entirely. Uh, and that's what I'm most afraid of. Ugh. I just need to get a little bit closer. Like, we're, we're right there, guys. We are right there, literally. Oh, my goodness. I just need to get into the discovery zone. <laughs> uh, maintain sail position, turn boat, tack to right. <laughs> Bo, if you know how to do this, you should come be a crew member on the server, because it is going to be available to patrons, and I have no idea what I'm doing here. It's great. Uh, yeah, the sails are fully open, and this is uh, about as good as I can get with the wind and still be headed towards the island. UK Creations says hi from India. Hello, and thank you for coming. Uh, Slushy, welcome. You are a little bit late, but that is totally okay. Burning Chicken says Subnautica is based on water. It is, but you can get, like, down into the water, and it's clear water, so you can see what's going down. So it's a lot easier. Sam says there's a shark. Don't, don't mess with me, guys. Did I not see a shark, or is there, like, not a shark? I'm, I don't like it. <laughs> I feel like the chat's just trolling me now just to watch me squirm, and it's mean. You guys are cruel. We're very close. Very, very close to this island. Yes, okay, we're in the discovery area. I just need to make landfall. Okay. Oh, an elephant! We're close enough to see creatures now. I could probably swim that distance, but I'm afraid I would get eaten. Sharks are a thing. I've seen multiples. Alright, now the issue is I need to go over there. Oh, no. I'm not going to make it if I keep going on course. I'm going to slam right into those walls. And if I do this, I am going to stop dead in the water. Yep. The wind is against me. Um, I could try sailing around the back part of the island here. I might have to. I'm probably going to have to. Yes. Okay, let's see if we can do this. Um, we'll go a little faster this way. We'll swim to the... Oh, there we go. There's a little beach up there. We can sail up there. This way, at least, we have some speed. I would have preferred to land on this side, but um, I'll take what I can get. All right. Not bad, not bad. I feel like this is the desert biome, probably. Um, <laughs> it takes to swim the rest of the way. I'm going to die. 
I'm afraid. I want to get a little closer. Oh, scary. Oh, it's almost nightfall. That's why. Okay. Never mind. We're okay. We're definitely okay. See, I just need to get to that little beach so I could swim up. Gotta get past all these rocks. I do see parrots, so there are parrots here. <laughs> Everyone's trying to troll me with the shark. Oh my goodness. You guys are horrible. <laughs> oh, you're all the worst. I'm just trying to, like, survive. <laughs> What if there were Sharknadoes? Well, there are water spouts, so it's possible there could be Sharknadoes on this game. Who even knows? I feel like the people who made Wild, uh, who made Ark and Alice are, they're a lot of the same people, so I feel like they would be just mean enough to do that. Cedar Star says, I almost forgot, sing. I actually sang earlier in the stream, Cedar. You might have missed it. I sang happy birthday to, a uh, Ghost. All right, we're gonna head in. We'll slow down a little, but we are right there. We are so close to land. I see it. I hope there's not a tiger on the shore. That would be the worst. There are a lot of those treasure maps. I hope those work. Um, I do want gold because I want to hire some NPC crew members. I think that would be really useful for getting back. Uh, Fox Class says, I gotta go. Don't die or get eaten by a shark. I, I think we'll be okay not getting eaten by a shark this close to shore, but we might, um, we might still die. <laughs> that could, that could easily be a thing. All right. I am probably going to call that good. We are so close now. I think we'll survive this. I'm going to go ahead and close all of my sails. We can probably swim this distance without too much trouble. Um, I hope. Fingers crossed. Here we go. Up, 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 up. I want to see. I want to see. Okay, no sharks. No sharks. We're good. And I made a discovery. Yes. Oh. That's new. Very cool. Okay, I'm going to have to check that out at some point. I didn't realize that we would have those kinds of things. Uh, so that did... So that is going to make it so I can level up now. That's awesome. Bo, thank you so much for the super chat. He says, little fishy, nibble your toes, but not the toast. <laughs> exactly. I would be okay with it nibbling my toes as long as it's not the toast. Um, and not the rest of me. Just the toes, that's fine. Worth it for the toast. This is a very bright bottle and I want it. Gimme. It didn't work. I don't think treasure maps work on private um, private servers yet, which is a little bit disappointing because I really would like to see those work. This is cool. Okay. Oh, no, there's a scorpion. Bad things. Bad things. Abort. Abort mission. I feel like that scorpion's going to eat me, and I don't like it. I don't like it. <laughs> it's coming for me. It's coming after me. This is not good. I'm going to climb up on a rock. Um, and ready my spears. Because I feel like I'm going to have to kill this thing. There is an elephant up there, which is fine. Let's see. Why are there so many megalodons? Ajitha, um, megalodons are incredibly common. And it's very disappointing and scary. Alright. I don't, don't like scorpions. No! Don't torpor me! Okay, I have to hit it fast before I get knocked out. Die. Okay. We might be okay. Um, I gotta, like, pull it out so I can see it. Ah! Why did I get hit by? Oh, no! Vultures! What? That's an unfair thing. Okay. I see how it is. And there's a snake. I don't like this. This island is mean. <laughs> uh, okay, so the vulture thing, for those of you who don't know, that's actually a mechanic from Scorched Earth, um, where the vultures become aggressive if there are dead bodies nearby. 
Uh, so I didn't even think about that. There's also snakes um, and scorpions and no. We could go for a little swim back to the raft. I'm going to log off on the raft. That feels a little safer. I'm also dying, so that's just, it's great. <laughs> I'm going back to the ship. Abort mission. Okay. Is the snake swimming? The snake is swimming. This is just not fair. I don't think snakes should be allowed to swim, guys. Can you get up? Oh, he's angry. This is good. It's cool. He's gonna haunt the ship. Okay. I hope he drowns. I think they drown. Oh my gosh. Um, I am freezing to death on another note, so I probably actually should um, light a fire here and not die. Yeah, that snake is, uh, it's a problem, as are all of the vultures in the area. <sighs> Forget sharks, man. I have a snake problem in the water. I don't like that they can swim. I feel like any animal that's on land should stop. Unless it's an otter. <laughs> um, Sam says, I wish I could date you. I hope I don't sound creepy. Oh, Sam, that's very sweet. Thank you. Uh, you don't sound creepy to me at all. Um, I don't like the snake. Okay. Well, at any rate, guys, <laughs> we did make it over here. And actually, I do think I'm going to end off the stream here. I know it's kind of like an interesting area, but um, I can log off here and probably not die since that snake really, I don't think it can hit us very well. Uh, since it's underwater, it probably will drown eventually. And uh, we did it. We made it to a new island. I'm probably going to sail back to the old island now that I can gather more experience because the other island was much safer. Um, for sure. <laughs> all right. So uh, thank you all so much for coming out and uh, watching today. It is super, super appreciated. Yeah. Next thing I know, the snake's going to get on the boat and kill me while I'm signing off. That would be my luck. But uh, love you all so much. Thank you for coming out and watching today. And yeah, guys, I will catch you all in the next one. Signing off. This is the Iguana.